Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So to start off, I'm just cupping my hair out of the way and then I'm going in with this um, cream shade and putting it all over my eyelid. And I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette and taking that cobalt blue and taking this tape to line up the line that I want to make for this look. And I'm going in with that blue and I'm just putting this in my crease. This is going to act as our transition color and our crease color. And just doing that to both eyes. And I'm taking this even darker cobalt blue. And I'm using a pencil brush to put this in my outer V. And I'm really trying to build up this color and it took me a while to get it where I wanted it. And I'm going in with this black from the Naked Basics palette and using that same pencil brush to put that in the outer V. I'm trying to really create a V shape with this so it's pretty pointed and I wanted to make this pretty dark so I keep going in with the black and blue and just blending it out and here I'm using the same brush to just blend it out. Then I'm just highlighting my brow bone with that cream shade I used earlier and then doing some more blending because it's all about putting product in blending. Here I'm putting my NYX Milk Eye Pencil down and then I'm going to go over top of it with some glitter and here I use the NYX glitter it's just the silver one and I'm using that to pat it on and using my hand to cover my under eye to make sure I don't get fallout anywhere and pretty much just doing that then here I'm going in with the uh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> the NYX cream the milk pencil again and using a angled eyeliner brush to apply the triangle marks underneath my eyes. I had to go over this just a few times to get the pigmentation right and I'm basically just creating a triangle down to the tip of my nose and doing the same thing on the other side. And like I said, I had to go over it a few times just to get the pigmentation right. And I'm doing the same thing on the top, making sure it matches the bottom. And I'm doing this um, about almost at the top of my forehead. And just filling that in like I did the bottom one. And I do the same thing to the other eye. Then to finish off the bottom lash line, I'm taking that black from the Naked Basics palette and running that in my inner and outer corner and just blending that out with a blue. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay Zero Eyeliner and lining my lash line. Then taking my Eyelore number 126 lashes, I apply those off camera. And here I'm just doing a little wing on the inside of my eye. Now I'm taking that same blue and I'm outlining the triangle with the blue shadow and I'm using a pencil brush to do this and I think I switch brushes at some point like an angled brush to make it easier but pretty much I'm just going to intensify this as much as I want I'm going to do this to all of the triangles starting on the neck piece I'm just taking some white Cream makeup and I'm going to outline the neck piece and where I want it to start and I'm pretty much just going to outline all of the lines that are going to be a part of the neck piece and yeah I'm just creating like a rough sketch here and then like I said I'm doing the lines making them a little thicker at the bottom Here I'm filling it in and this took a while because I had to go over it a few times and I realized this brush absolutely sucked for this process so I actually ended up switching brushes at some point. And yeah, I went over this about two or three times while it was still wet to ensure that it was completely opaque. So I'm just going to be filling in every other piece on the neck piece in the white cream paint. Then I'm going in with that same blue we used on the triangles to fill this in. This took me a while just because I didn't have any blue cream makeup. I kept going over this to make sure it looked pretty good and I think it came out well enough. And I'm sorry I forgot to film this part but pretty much just read this 
and hopefully it will make sense to you. I tried to refilm it, but it didn't work. So yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Then I'm going in with my foundation shade and I'm going to be applying this over the tissue with my fingers. Sorry, I'm kind of out of frame here. I didn't really realize it. And then I'm going to be going in with my beauty blender and blending that out to make it look seamless. Then I'm going to be going in with some red eyeshadow to make it look irritated. And you can see I started with blood and realized I needed to go over it with eyeshadow. So I just took a red eyeshadow from the BH um, palette. Then I'm going in with the blood and splattering that on the neck piece and pretty much just using a pencil brush for this and really gobbing it, gobbing it up in some places to make it look realistic. And then I end up going in with Vampire Blood which is a more watery blood and I end up dripping that down my chest just to give, you know, more of a bloody effect trying to get that done. Then I'm going in with my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Succulent and applying this to my lips. And once that dries, I will be going in with my Urban Decay Zero Eyeliner, which is my black one, and outlining my lips and kind of creating a little smile line, like the creepy clowns have, and then blending this out with the pencil. But, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Going in with my NYX white eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and creating these little lines. I create two on the bottom lip and two on the top, and one of them is like a little dot. And this creates kind of like a character lip, and I think this really pulled the look together. Here I'm just doing my nose, creating a circle with the black eyeliner, and then putting red eyeshadow in the middle. And that is pretty much the completed look, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want to see more, then please subscribe. I love.